Welcome to this new episode of Live Coding Word Tycoon. Um, today we did a little bit of fighting and we also got lots of feedback on how to improve uh, the game so that it gets more exciting and so on. Um, one thing is we found out that um, like in an attack <coughs> um, we have a battle and this battle has soldiers involved and there we have this weapon and now um, instead of just recording which weapon um, there should be a kind of um, menu like weapon remove this data type <coughs> <coughs> battle soldier has automatic automatic gun with type boolean and pointer um, laser pointer <coughs> or tactical dungeon lumber tactical flashlight Okay, and <coughs> and a battle soldier should have Yes, in battle description and so on. And then in the description we have like automatic. Then we will add an A. Ansonsten an empty string. And the same for L for <coughs> okay, same for this one. Okay, so it will display an A and an L, um, depending on which weapons are used. Then an attack soldier. Now I have to grab the whole thing for weapons. Weapon. There is just one left over of the weapon system. So, that should be the issue. Um, let's test it. Just looking into the feedback. Um, yes, they want the to have the card a little bit uh, <coughs> um, of Goronda. Um, okay, there are some changes in the FOB core, so um, 
we have some reminders. Data view reminder will be an this L thing. Owner is user ID. View reminder DSL owner is user ID. Data view reminder DSL status is one and defender. Okay exists country where ID is defender having owner is user ID. Okay, that's the thing. L and also DSL. Okay, make fast. Data view reminder sum. Oh, backend is easy editor data view reminder. Okay, it must be some DSL. Okay, seems that the reminders still work fine. And now we have a upcoming battle. So just involved, okay, localhost for project db check. Edit. Carly has a tactical flashlight. Oh. Carly has a tactical flashlight and Philip has an automatic gun. Okay. Now, if I have an attack. <coughs> yes, there I see all the users with their flags A, FIP, L, Carly, and so on. I should um, rather have a tech soldier battle. Yes, I should rather use square brackets.
Okay. So. Notifications. Kit diff. Okay. So what did we do? X33 um, also have take take out flash lights in the game. Okay. Next problem was that um, <coughs> registration <coughs> always crashed because an avatar uh, was not uh, given. So tables user. So this is our create function. And avatar, avatar. Yes, there's a quote zero and this is wrong. Tabby out, tabby for backends easy to talk, crud. Create quote so on if it has a default, but we also have to call the data type sanitizer. data avatar and otherwise this value. So quote um, data type sanitizer. Type once. This way it should be possible to add users even if they don't have an avatar. Okay, sanitize upload. Table outlib for files. Sanitize upload. Okay, and MT will return null. So <coughs> if I say username is like Schnulli. Nori and info plus Nori at launix.de. Now it works. Okay. So fix um, null default. With files. Okay. So now Avatar should not crash any longer anymore with um
<coughs> Next thing. Um, the own soldier should always be on my side. So um, So attack. At first, let's check out if the soldier will get his money. All users are getting refund on cancer. And in this case, all soldiers get their salary. User, a tech soldier, and there's a rank ID. Let's take a look into the data scheme. soldier and there we have a soldier and the soldier will point to a user user battle soldier attack soldier okay set User.money is user.money plus a tech soldier dot salary where a tech soldier dot soldier equals battle soldier dot ID and battle soldier dot user is user id and attack soldier dot attack is id <coughs> so this will put them on put their salary there all soldiers will get their salary okay Fix twenty seven soldiers will get salary. Okay, next issue. Um, Um, soldiers should not be <coughs> um, as auction. The auction is a little bit um, not optimal in the moment. So, Schnulli will attack a country like Schluknov. I take this country and so on. And now if I am a user of a smartphone, I see things like this. And this is not good. No, it's not. So, we have a TD.
Okay, I have to turn off the intervals because it's changing all the way. Now, if I put a line break between each button, Okay, this looks much better now. Yes, this looks much better now. So I can hire the soldiers. Yes, looks a lot better, looks better, just looks better. Okay. view on smartphones. Okay, next thing, I should not be able to hire myself. So, if Soldier hired by if soldier is hired by the owner. If soldier now, uh, if I have soldiers, is a tag soldier data get data? So, an attack soldier, if I have an attack soldier list, outlib data view attack soldier, it will select. Does it select the user? Well, not really. So I have to like it. <coughs> Attack soldier. Here we have attack soldiers. Grab attack soldier. It's implemented an auction. So an attack soldier. Yes. We have a column user. user and it's selected by fetch a user from battle soldier where ID is soldier and of course the column should be hidden um, access rule expression attack soldier user view False, false. So we have the column user, and now we can say if date if if the soldier user equals fob 
user get ID. Now, if it is the opponent, <coughs> so whoever is my opponent here, if data country owner is user get ID, okay. If I'm the owner and soldier user is unequal my opponent. Owner. And the same here and the other way around. And soldier user is not equal to data country owner. So <coughs> this should hinder me hiring the soldier from the other side. Okay, Schlucknav is... Um, so I have to attack a land of Kali. Oibin. Let's attack Oibin. Okay, now I cannot hire Kali. That's cool. this is only a GUI uh, thing. Um, if I call the hire function manually, I still can hire the opponent, but this is not really useful for me. Okay. And also now do not take over last soldier. So, Okay, taker count is zero, defender count is also zero for each soldiers, items as soldier do <coughs> if Soldiers, soldier, hired by equals data owner, then we have an attacker. Otherwise, we will have a defender. So, I can hire that button if I'm defender and the count is greater or equal than is greater than one. 
Okay, and I can hire defender soldiers and defender count is greater than one. <coughs> so this should hinder our users to hire the last soldier. So if I hire him, I cannot hire the others. So let's get back to Baltum regions. Let's attack Schluknov. Attack this country. And oh, I don't have any money uh, left. So. Um, Martikun. Let's add me some money and hire the one. And I cannot hire the other one because he would be the last soldier. Great. Do not hire last soldier. Okay, in the don't have enough money. Yes, now also do some additional um, error checks for database query select check soldier count star from a text soldier where text soldier dot ID uh, dot okay from text soldier A Attack soldier B, where A dot attack is B dot attack, and B dot ID is interval ID. Okay, so select all uh, the number of all attack soldiers in the same battle. In the same attack. <coughs> and A dot hired by is B dot hired by. So fetch column. Um, soldier count is so, such and such. If soldier count is smaller than two, then we return. Um, it would be the last soldier in the opponent's team.
Okay. Also add, add the other constraint. No, we don't need the other constraint. Okay. Do not take over the last last soldier. Let's <coughs> test it again so we don't uh, need some additional testing. Countries. Let's attack this country. And I can hire one soldier. And it doesn't work anymore. So I did an arrow. Take a look into the error log. Column not found, column automatic. No, this is not our error. Tab out lib tables, lib tables attack soldier. Hire action. And there we log error log count is soldier count. So if I click on this, I will get count is zero. So let's take a look. Why do we have zero attack soldiers that are sharing the same attack and are hired by the same person. Um, take a look into the attack soldier table. Hired by is null. This works. So it's hired by is, is null for the first time. should not be able anymore to hire any additional soldiers. Okay. Next thing. If I'm on the map. and I want to attack a country, I have this button that says create. But I want a different button. <coughs> so, workflow button, uh, workflow next. Um, 
Tab F for backends easy to create. Create. There we have workflow next. This is our workflow next. Um, Tab F for backends easy easy to workflow next. We have to disable this button first. So, where is a no? No card form submit button. No workflow next. Okay. At first, we disable attack, create, save. Then we add attack, create, attack. With an icon, material icons. This is the button, maybe. Workflow no next. Um, this workflow next with seven or eight parameters. Workflow next with seven or eight parameters. We'll have namespace, colon, class, action, id, param. Okay, so I have to disable tables, attack, view, id. Okay. <coughs> so now I just rename the create button. the old button worked well but how about a new button workflow next oh okay I see I also disabled the other buttons as well. So next button, next button. I have a sub ID and next button redirect. So add tag. will have a button called attack with an icon flight and start attack and it will redirect me attack create attack will redirect me to tables 
at tag view ID. Start attack. Okay, that's a cool thing. Start attack. And then I can hire all soldiers. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Improve attack create button. Now, next thing every user should get a color. If I activate the color code module, I can set the color of the type color and description column default user color color and yes <coughs> for you to get color code and let's use a timestamp for hashing country on the map should have like a color. So if I am examining Wendish Soland or Soland especially I will have a background lime. This would color all the things lime. So background. Now I have to create the kind of gradient. Repeating linear gradient. None doesn't work well. IGBA zero 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 should be a better than none. Okay, this already looks better. Opacity 0 0.2. 
0.3. Okay. Would I lose any information if it's opaque? No. Okay. This is how we can do it. Let's add this into our map code. <coughs> Select star from country. Star and S color. Select color from user pair country country dot owner is user dot id okay cursor pointer and so on title so on opacity 0.4 and <coughs> linear gradient and so on and instead of aqua i say percent s and of course zero double percent to double percent double percent double percent and double percent has to be before the title. So here we add country color. And of course <coughs> <coughs> escaped. Revolutions and attack drones, okay. We, I think we don't need to color them, but we can color the countries. Let's DB check the whole thing. And users, Schnulli added, my color is Yellow, save. If I go to map, <coughs> I should log in as admin again, log out. Log in. Users Kali. Let's make Kali blue. And Fib gonna be red. And if I create a user, it will have some random color. Okay. Uh, admin will get a like a grayish color. Now if I take a look on the map, I should see something's colored, but this is the main map. Point four. Okay, it's not entering anything here. So we somehow have to take a look at the source code. Outlib for index. Yes, select color as color, country color. If 
we just say red, would it be then colored? No, still not. But it already says red. So Opacity is 0 0.4 and repeating, ah here, background, yes we have to say background. Border radius twenty per cent. Yes, border radius twenty per cent looks good. Border radius twenty per cent. Okay, so that's the whole thing and instead of red we're adding back our country color. What's missing now? This is an attack. This should be a village. For some reason it did not render border radius 20%, background repeating linear gradient. Print F too few arguments. Ah, border radius twenty double percent. So Okay. 
attack this country, start attack. Yes, great. Six thirty color per user. <coughs> what do we want to do the next time? This, I think it's enough for today. Next time we want to add like scrolling functionality uh, on the desktop. So on, on a mobile phone you already can uh, scroll by drag and drop. We want to add scrolling by uh, hovering over the edges. Um, then we want to make uh, easy make the attack make attacking easier. So instead of clicking on the country and clicking on attack this country, we should see an inlay. So like a small pop-up window <coughs> that will show up and it will directly allow us to attack a country from the map. Um, then we want to uh, make revolutions expensive. So if you already have a country, you should use the country to attack. Um, Then we want to have like battle updates to inform all users that a battle has some updates like uh, a new soldier fighting in the and so on. And then of course we want to have some kind of battle fee. Okay. Revolutions must cost money and we want to have like a new referral system that users can start playing um, and inviting other friends. I think that's it for today. I'll make the update then and see you next time.